diabetic foot exam. Foot problems caused by nerve damage are among the most common and life-altering complications of diabetes. Examine the feet of all people with diabetes at least once a year. This simple, quick exam doesn't need any special tools. Using temperature and light touch, you can accurately identify loss of sensation early when prevention is most useful. It only takes a minute. First, ask questions. Is there sharp shooting pain, tingling or burning feelings in the feet, especially at night? Is there numbness or unsteadiness when standing or walking? Are there calluses or foot ulcers? Half of patients have no symptoms, even when they have loss of sensation. You need to test for this. Now, look at the feet, the top, the entire sole, and between each toe. Notice deformities like claw toes and bunions, corns, calluses, ulcers, scaling between the toes, ingrown toenails, or dry, cracked skin. Now, test for pulses in the feet. First, feel for the pulse on top of the foot, the dorsalis pedis. Then, the pulse at the back of the ankle, the posterior tibial pulse. If the pulses are weak or absent, the person likely has some blockage in those arteries, increasing the risk for amputation, heart attack, and stroke. Next, test for loss of sensation. There are two key tests. Start by testing temperature with a cold or warm object. Temperature is the first sensation to be lost in diabetes. Demonstrate by touching the person's hand with the cold object. Without watching you, ask her to tell you each time she feels the sensation of cold. Touch the top of the big toe with the cold object. Notice if she does not feel the cold temperature. Touch the top of the other big toe. The second test is for light touch. Demonstrate by very lightly touching the person's hand with your fingertip. Without watching you, ask her to tell you each time she feels the touch. Lightly rest your fingertip on the tips of the toes of each foot for one to two seconds as you notice her reaction. A person who cannot feel cold temperature or light touch, as this woman cannot, at any location on either foot, has a loss of protective sensation. Now, test for motor nerve loss in the feet and lower legs. Ask her to spread her toes. Then, have her walk on her toes and last, have her walk on her heels. A person with motor nerve loss will have weakness in the muscles of the foot and a loss of coordination that limits their ability to walk. It can eventually result in a deformity known as Charcot foot. For anyone with loss of sensation, caution them never to go barefoot. Advise them about well-fitting protective shoes and carefully review all aspects of daily foot care. 
a person with any abnormal findings is at risk of developing foot problems and should have a foot exam at least every six months. Remember, a foot exam is quick, easy and important. Look at the feet, test pulses, temperature and light touch, then check for motor nerve loss.